Um, we got Mi my Mikey Garcia and Orlando Salido. That's a hell of a fight. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I think I think all three fights on that card are going to be very good. Like the Lovkin Rosado fight, I can't wait to see. Oh yeah, it's not my fight. It's Kate Dews, but I mean I'm glad it's on the card. And uh, and Martinez and Burgos is a good fight, so it should be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, it's going to be a great card. And for the fans who really don't know these guys too much or just heard about it on the internet, they're going to be in for a, a slugfest. I'm telling you, CompuBox is going <laughs> to it's going to explode. <laughs> so uh, how, how we kept the prices reasonable, so that's good. So no, I'm I'm very excited. Oh yeah, now they got some tension brewing up because. All this um, is Salito with Heredia and all that stuff has been coming up this week, and he's like, "I'm not even have nothing to do with it." It's just like, <laughs> it's like it's more tension to get more attention to the fight. But I was like, "This is going to be explosive, no matter what." Absolutely. So, after this fight, what do you think for the winner? Do you have any uh, plans set up for the winner? Uh, not really. Uh, you know. Obviously, the, the world opens up for the women. There's a lot of great featherweights around, and uh, but I haven't concentrated on uh, on anybody uh, after you know uh, uh, after this fight. I mean, if uh, uh, Vasquez, I think, is going up to featherweight, so he could be uh, a possible opponent. Uh, if Solito wins. Uh, you know, if Nonito decides to go up to featherweight, Salido, Nonito Donaire is a tremendous fight. So, I mean, I, you know, I, the answer is I have it. I have it. Oh, okay. There's plenty of featherweights around to make good fights. Okay, and I know you probably heard it last week because it was just all over the internet about this this doctor from the Philippines talking about Manny uh, maybe showing early signs of Parkinson's and well you know the doctor should you know I think he meant well but you know you, you can't do that without an, an examination but I'm going to be talking to Manny uh, to uh, go come into Las Vegas and go to the uh, Lou Ruvo uh, Cleveland Clinic Brain Center which is the best in the world and get a thorough uh, test uh, so that will alleviate anybody's concern, right? Because uh, yeah, because I had asked you about that before that because uh, he was saying uh, in a statement that he wanted to fight twice this year in April and in September, and I'm like, wait a minute, I don't know if that's possible because uh, they would have him under medical suspension for four months at least. Yeah, well, that's four months is fine. Uh, it was December eighth. Uh, let's see, January, February, March, April, yeah, he's okay for April 20th. Uh, if, uh, you know, if, if he's, uh, approved by the, uh, the brain center, can't get better than that. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, so, man, any possible opponents for April? I know a September fight, you know, with Marquez would probably be a good... Uh, I, I, I really don't know even if he's going to fight in April. I really haven't talked to him. He just got back from Israel this morning. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and I'll be talking to them sometime tonight to see where they are. So I really, you know, the idea that there'll be an April fight, there won't be an April fight, I mean... I just don't know. I haven't until I talked to them, and I left them alone. I told them I would leave them alone while they were on vacation. Right. And now I'm going to talk with uh, with uh, Manny, and I know Fernando is talking uh, with Juan Manuel Marquez. Oh, okay. 